I've been having issues with my productivity lately, and I thought making this video would be a great way to get to the verse bottom of it. I'm not saying I have a problem with procrastinating, but this was supposed to screen at my high school graduation. I frequently ask myself, do I have ADD? Should I be taking Adderall? Should I be microdosing magic mushrooms for my microaggressions or amphetamines and alliteration just a regression? I don't take any medications, but coffee has been owning my life for a while now. The best part of waking up is immediately getting intoxicated for breakfast. It's a real sad day when you realize that 99% of your confidence is dependent entirely on a diuretic. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with marijuana. It expands my mind, but it can also hinder my productivity. I drafted an email to Reed Hastings the other day to let him know I finished Netflix. It can make me pretty lazy. Just picked up an eighth of not brushing my teeth tonight, Kush. I have to pump myself up to brush my teeth after smoking weed. My bathroom sink is like the Citadel on Mad Max. You can see my Sonic here on Antiques Roadshow this Tuesday night. I feel a subtle obligation to drink alcohol for social and networking purposes. It's kind of sad, but I'm being peer pressured as a 30 year old. Like when does this end? Am I going to be bullied into drinking Metamucil mules in my 80s? For a while, sex has also been a huge distraction for me. I'm turned on by everything. I was getting fitted for a suit the other day and this old man was measuring my waist and I could feel myself getting tingly down there. Alright semen Marcus, I need my testicles put in a vice grip. When my mind enters these excessive states of consumption, I'm not only wasting my time, but I'm dropping into a much lower vibration. There's almost as if there's a self-saboteur in my head, giving me bad ideas and automating negative thoughts. You're a loser, you're not good enough, you're a fraud. And your is never spelt correctly. So insidious. I didn't think living in LA would make me vain, but fast forward five years and I have a spreadsheet of where all the skin tags on my body are. I'm so obsessed with my hair, I'm about ready to sweep the oncology ward for a few more follicles. I'm constantly trying to curate this perfect image, yet when I look in the mirror, I see someone who is in desperate need of Windex. And I hate myself. I'm always looking for a quick fix. Hook me up to an amp coil for 16 hours. Put me in a deprivation tank till Thanksgiving. Give me a flask of ayahuasca. My desire to fix myself has led me down this never ending spiritual path. But with my ego still intact, the result has been some kind of spiritual narcissism. He called me an asshole, but I know that every person in my reality is actually just a parallel reflection of myself, so really I'm just illuminating my own subconscious negative beliefs and giving myself an opportunity to transform into positivity and light. Idiot. 1111, I'm in complete alignment with the universe. 1112, I don't love myself. And every physical symptom is a sign of a spiritual awakening. These daily migraines mean my crown chakra is opening up. Uh, you have mold poisoning. I find myself spending a lot of time trying to ascend to a higher dimension. My fifth dimension going away party is June 15th. Hi, thanks for coming. You can't perceive my vibration anymore, but help yourself to some quiche. The ego feeds off these self-aggrandizing stories. So I'm trying to be more cognizant of when it tries to take the wheel and focus more on what is happening now so I can quiet the internal monologue. I've been doing a lot of yoga. At least that's what the guy who has my legs pushed by my head calls it. Like a puppy on Christmas morning, my mind is always trying to escape the present. But that's where everything takes place and that's where we can access all of our creative potential. We have the power to create our state of being through our definitions of reality because there is no reality except for what we define it to be. And that's what reality is. Use code Steve69 for 25% off Reality Kings membership. Unlike LH drinking water, PH, the events of life are neutral. They have no built in meaning, and it's up to us to decide how we react. Feeling stuck or unmotivated are just beliefs of the mind. They're no more real or probable than feeling free, inspired, and abundant. Unproductive habits and impulsive behaviors are the result of an underlying feeling of lack. We think that filling ourselves up with all these external things will fulfill us. But we're already complete as long as we're truly present. 